Charlemagne. Just about to mount this all. About to do a quick one uh, riding in, uh, while in transit on my way to work. But uh, before I open up, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Shabbat 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 they bring in this truth and truth and sincerity. Yeah, I'm just sitting here thinking about uh, what's the straight gate? You know, uh, this lesson is, is inspired from me. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the straight gate. You know, uh, Lord, that, uh, matter of fact, Peter, uh, 4 
4, verse 12. He said, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as something, as some strange thing happening to you. Think it not strange, man, that you are, uh, you know, going through all this hell, man. You're catching this hell for a reason. To be purged. You see, it starts with us going and striving into the straight gate. Striving to enter into the straight gate, man. You know? You can't be procrastinating. That's why the Lord says some of them ain't gonna be able to find it because Jake what Jake do, Jake be putting things off. Well, I do it, I'll read tomorrow. It's all about sacrifice, man. Sacrifice. That guy our Lord, you know what he did, man. He sacrificed himself for us. Now we must sacrifice ourselves for the Lord. That's part of the straight game, man. You say you, you a man of the Lord, now you gotta be a man of the Lord, man. You can't be out here sometimes putting shit off, putting the leg, putting the day, putting the Lord off day by day. You know, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll read tomorrow. I'll study tomorrow. I'll, I'll work on that later. What's, what's going to end up happening is you ain't going to never get to it. By that time, the dead judgment will be here. Then it'll be too late. It's going to be too late for you, man, in that time, man. That's why the Lord says it's going to be many that say, Lord, Lord, did not we prophesy in thy name? Did we not cast out dead devils and, and, and heal all sicknesses? In, a, in, in, in thy name and the Lord gonna say get from me I never knew you ye that work iniquity because why you can't put the Lord off man you done shrouded into, into the straight gate you done make that sacrifice man to serve the Lord properly that's why Paul said it he said uh, real quick uh, right here grab this real quick Uh, Romans 12 and 1 he said I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of Yahweh that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto the most high which is your reasonable service so we supposed to be presenting ourselves as a living sacrifice man holy and acceptable which is our reasonable service you know, basically we supposed to sacrifice by forsaking the things of this world to come serve the Lord. We got to sacrifice the things of this world, man, come about this world, man, to be, you know, be separated from this world. We got to separate ourselves from this wicked world, man, to be even holy, to be, be a holy, acceptable sacrifice. You know, that's part of the straight gate, man. That's why a lot of, that's why you said many going to try to get in, but they ain't going to be able to get in there, man. Because they're not forsaking the ways of the world, man. Jake's still holding on to this wicked place, man. Jake afraid to let it go. That's why, that's why it's called the straight gate. Difficulties. Goes into difficulties. You're afraid to let go of these things. That's why the Lord said what he said, man. It's going to be like a, like a, uh, it's harder for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven and be like a, uh, a camel trying to go through the eye hole of a needle. Because why? He got all that baggage, you know, on that camel. And that, in the eye hole of a needle, it's talking about a doorway, like an ancient, you know, like how they used to build, build those ancient uh, towers with the, the, uh, the door, it was shaped like a needle. It was really narrow, very narrow path. And basically, that's what's going to happen, man. You know, you got all those packages, you ain't going to be able to get through the door. So you got to, uh, man, this, the path is so narrow. 
you have to drop off some of that baggage, that excess baggage. You got to sacrifice and, and be ready to lose things, man. You got to be ready to lose, you know. And it is difficult, man, especially when you love your woman. You know, when she's talking about since she leaves you, you know, because, because you in the truth, because you out of preaching, she can say that you look stupid, you sound stupid, you know, and she gonna leave you if you don't stop doing that stupid, stupid shit, that's how they be. Or, or she may be like, you know, uh, you put this in, you do too much of this, you, you serve the Lord too much. You love your brothers more than you love me. You know, I'm leaving. You know, that happens to brothers, man. Hell, that happened to me. You know, I go through it, you know, dealing with women all the time. But you gotta, you know, you know, uh, be ready for that, man. Hey, this is what we came into. We came into serve our Lord, Yahweh yeah, Shah, man. You gotta be ready and willing to lose those things, man, to serve the Lord, man. You gotta go through that that that, uh, that furnace of affliction. But see, it's also for us to self-reflect. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, fix ourselves. You know, what what the Lord fixes us ultimately. But we we reflect on ourselves and look at our errors, man, and take it to the Lord and ask Him to help us with these things, and then we work on them too. You know, mortifying your members, man. All of that, man. Learning how to become disciplined over this wick, this uh, uh, this flesh. This flesh is, man, it's a mother, man. This, this flesh is extremely weak, but the spirit is always with it, man. Like the Lord said, man, this flesh is weak. It's weak in so many ways. It's emotional, man. You know, that's why you gotta have discipline over it because you can be led by your emotions and air really bad, man. Air yourself into damnation, even, you know? You can air yourself into being destroyed because of this flesh. You know? That's why you gotta, man, you gotta, it's something that we gotta pray for, pray on, pray to your how about Shimmy I wish to help us with, man, get ask the Lord to give you strength to help you go through the straits, man. You gotta strive to enter in, man. I mean you gotta fight to get in. You know, that's why the Lord said that, man. You gotta fight to get into the straight gate, man. Because all these things are gonna come up, man. While you right there at the entrance, getting a rebuke. You know, getting rebuked. Getting rebuked. You know, and some men be like, like, like the young rich ruler, man. He thought he was perfect, man. And it proved the Lord proved him wrong and showed him that he wasn't perfect. Because he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't let the world go, man. The young rich ruler couldn't let this place go. You know, that's that, hey, and it goes right into that. You know, and it's like they hated him who rebuked it in the gate. <laughs> you know, that's why I say you got to strive to in the end. Basically, you got to, you got to face it, man. You got to man up, gird up thy loins, man. You know, and you got to humble down. Yeah, you gotta, man, be, be in humility to enter into the straight gate, man. All of this, man, you gotta, you, man, you gotta get your shit right, man. Your mind, your mind gotta be made right. Man. You gotta make it up. That's why the Lord said, He said, He said, you gotta count up the cost. You know, you gotta count up the cost, man. Hey, be ready, man, because these things are gonna happen to you, man. You gonna get persecuted for the Lord, man. Men are gonna hate you for His name's sake. These people gonna hate you, man, for serving your Hashem, your Shah, man. Even your own family, your own woman. You know, these are the things you gotta, man, get disciplined in in the spirit, man. Get strengthened up, man. Some guys, are, uh, like the scripture said, the scripture say some men have without they went they wits ends over a woman, even to the point where they they uh, uh, forsook the Lord, man, renounced. Uh, uh, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. The name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Just so they can keep that woman, man. And that woman ended up leaving them anyway. 
That's why you got to have faith. The straight gate is very difficult, man. And it's for only for a certain select men, you know, to go through it, man. The election. And Peter, what did Peter say? He said, make your calling of election sure. You know, so you got to you gotta strive, man, and fight to enter into the straight gate. Then when you get in, you can't even look back. You can't look back. You got to keep moving forward now. And you got you to gotta endure all things as a good soldier of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You got to fight the good fight of faith, man. All the way into the end, man. You can't stop fighting, man. You know? That's how, man, this thing that we're in, this is... This is not for the faint-hearted. It's not, man. This is for men, real men, the true men of the whole. Yeah, the true men, man. Real men who the Lord picked. Lord willing, we of that number. I pray we all are. You know. Then I'll eat, man. It's so much, man, bros, man. We gotta get our minds right, man. The Lord is coming. You know, he's on his way. You got some men that's not even in the straight gate yet. They still striving to get in. Because they still ain't let this world go. You know, that was just in my mind, man. You know, hey, man, forget this place. This place is temporal. temporary, man. It's about to be destroyed anyway. So wait, so 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 why not let it go? Why not let it go, man? You know? Let it go, brothers. Let it go. It's already gone. Hey, you we come in this thing, man. <laughs> Shit, we died anyway. You know? We dead anyway. We dead to this place. Why not go through the straight game to be made? perfect and it's to be made holy and acceptable for our Lord Yahweh Shai, man, when he come. So you can put a crown on your head and say, well done, my loyal, faithful, good servant. You know? Man. That, man, I hope you brothers are edified. I give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the Akim out here. Laboring in this truth, the truth of sincerity shall go on.